Okay, Dr. Henderson, again, talking about a different procedure. This one is an orchiectomy. Orchiectomy is just a way of saying that we're taking out the testicle. Ectomy is cut out or excised out, and orchi is just testicle. There's two reasons that we do this. One could be just for pain or discomfort or different things like that, or the other one can be for cancer. With the two different ones, there are two, there are two different ways to do this. If it's just for pain or discomfort, we can actually just make an incision through the scrotum, pull out the testicle, and then we tie off all the blood vessels and nerves and everything, and then we separate it from the body and send it off. It's a lot of kind of bruising, swelling down there. Afterwards, expect a couple of weeks of bruising, swelling, and needing some ice and some compression. Other reasons for doing that could be like a twisted testicle on a young male. Most of the time is when you see that. Those aren't as common. We don't see that as much, but it does happen. Sometimes we have to remove the whole testicle. Fortunately, we have two. So the other one usually takes care of everything as far as testosterone or hormones, fertility afterwards. It's very rare that the other testicle wouldn't actually take over and, and complete all the future things that it needs to do, not having the other one there. The other reason we take out testicles is for testicular cancer. So whenever we're dealing with testicular cancer for some reason, and they've just had studies on this, if we make the incision through the scrotum and we pull out the testicle through the scrotal incision, the cancer somehow can affect the tissue there or even the skin. And so previously, they had to go and cut back the skin tissue out of there because they had transmission of the cancer there. It's not well explained why, because we've said, okay, if we're not going to do it that way, then we got to think of a different way where we don't make an incision through the scrotum. So now what we do is we make a high groin incision up high on that same side, whichever side the testicular cancer is on. We make an incision just about this big, maybe four or five centimeters max, and go through the inguinal canal and pull the testicle up through the inguinal canal so that we don't mess really with the scrotum at all. Before we do that, we tie off the spermatic cord and that prevents transmission of the potential transmission of the cancer, cuts off the blood flow, everything, while we're manipulating that testicle to bring it out. And then we just divide the spermatic cord there. We leave a little tag in case they have to come back and do more surgery if the cancer is somehow spread and send off the testicle um, and the spermatic cord. And they don't get transmission of cancer through the inguinal incision. It's just a different way that um, they have a lot of different research behind showing that it's more effective with the orchiectomy and talking about testicular cancer. Or if you did the other one, if you ever worried about hormones, you can check hormones, things like that. Specifically for testicular cancer, before you get the surgery, they do CT scans. Um, they do tumor markers, blood tumor markers to make sure that these markers aren't abnormal, which can be a sign that the cancer is at least there and potentially trying to spread. And then we recheck those tumor markers after the surgery. Even with the inguinal incision, it's still just a couple weeks max, just a little bit of ice compression there, no hot tubs, bathtubs, swimming pools, showering's totally fine. Most people just do a little bit of surgical glue that falls off in two weeks. Um, we'll usually get back to the pathology in a week or two. We have you follow up in the office in a couple of weeks to go over that. And specifically with testicular cancer, we follow cancer guidelines on how often you need imaging afterwards and how often we need to repeat those tumor markers. It's a very quick and easy procedure. Most patients tolerate it very well. It's really only about 20, 30 minutes max in the operating room and then just a couple of weeks recovery. So it's very effective and, and good way to treat either the dull ache or pain doing the scrotal incision or the cancer doing the inguinal incision.